PI3 kinases are a family of signaling enzymes which regulate a variety of important cellular functions. They are heterodimers consisting of a P110 catalytic subunit and a P85 regulatory subunit. Normally, the P85 subunits bind and stabilize the P110 subunit and inhibit its enzymatic activity. Upon growth factor stimulation, the SH2 domains of P85 bind to the phosphotyrosine residues on receptor protein kinases or adapter proteins such as insulin receptor substrate 1, which activates PI3 kinase. The PIK3CA gene, which encodes the P110-alpha catalytic subunit, is frequently mutated in human cancers, and most PIK3CA mutations are clustered in the helical domain or the kinase domain. P110-alpha helical domain mutations alleviate the inhibitory interaction between P110-alpha and the N-terminal SH2 domain of P85-alpha and beta. In this paper, we report that P85-beta, but not P85-alpha, disassociates from P110-alpha helical domain mutant protein and translocates into the nucleus in cancer cells through a nuclear localization sequence, thereby promoting tumor growth. The nuclear P85-beta recruits USP7 to stabilize histone methyltransferases EZH1 and EZH2 and enhances histone H3 lysine 27 trimethylation. Moreover, knockout of P85-beta or P85-beta nuclear localization sequence mutant reduces the growth of tumors harboring a PIK3CA helical domain mutation. These results illuminate a novel mechanism by which PIK3CA helical domain mutations exert their oncogenic function. Finally, we demonstrate that a combination of alpha-lysib, a P110-alpha specific inhibitor, and an EZH inhibitor, tasmetostat, induces regression of xenograft tumors harboring a PIK3CA helical domain mutation in multiple models. These exciting preclinical data lay a solid foundation for a clinical trial to test the drug combination in human cancer patients. The clinical trial is expected to enroll patients soon.